dear students in the last class we were discussing the population regression function the pr the pr of was represented as expected y given x is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x expected y given x i is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x i and as we have and as we have discussed in the last class this pr of that is expected y given x i passes through the conditional mean values of y values for given values of x, x2, x3, etc. And we have specified it as linear PR because the PR of is stated as a linear function of xi. The conditional expectation of y given xi is stated as a linear function of xi. As we have seen, corresponding to each level of x, there is a distribution of y values. Corresponding to each level of x, there is a distribution of y values. And uh, these distributions are like this. You need not worry about the shape now. We will discuss the exact distribution of y later. And uh, corresponding to each x, there is an expected y given x given by the circles. The consumption of some families are higher than the average and some families lower than the average. But we are not interested in the consumption of each and every family. We are interested in the average consumption of a group of families with a given level of income. That is why our concern is estimation of expected y given xi equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. And we have specified it as linear PR. Now the question is, what is meant by linear in economics? What is meant by linear in econometrics? In econometrics, the term linearity is used in two different ways. The term linearity is used in two different ways. One is linearity in variables. Linearity in variables. In this interpretation, expected y given xi is a linear function of x is a linear function of x and in this interpretation expected y given x i is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x i square is non-linear because x appears with the power 2 it's a quadratic equation so it is a non-linear PR. Now, this is one interpretation of linearity. One interpretation of linearity. X appear with the power 1 only. This is a linear PR. This is not. There is a mathematical interpretation to linearity. The interpretation is, if y is a function of x only, 
is a function of one variable only and if dy by dx the derivative of y with respect to x is independent of x then it is linear in variables in this case it is beta 2 in this case it is 2 beta 2 x so not a linear this is one interpretation a second interpretation of linearity is linearity in parameters linearity in parameters linearity in parameters in this interpretation a pr of s linear if the parameters appear with the power one only may or may not be linear in variables in this interpretation this is a linear model because beta 1 and beta 2 appear with the power 1 only even though x appear with the power 2. On the other hand a model like expected y given xi equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 square xi is known is non linear even though the model appears to be linear in variables x. In econometrics, linearity means linearity in parameters, may or may not be linear in variables. In econometrics, linearity means linearity in variables, may or may not be linear in parameters. That is the interpretation of linearity in econometrics. So, when we consider only a linear model, it is not restricted to straight line relationships. We can estimate all types of curves using linear models. As an example, you consider a cubic cost function cubic cost function let total cost is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 xi beta 1 qi plus beta 2 qi square plus beta 3 qi raised to 3 the standard cubic cost function is an example of a linear model because the parameters appear with the power 1 only even though the variable qi appear with the power 1, 2 and 3. Now, now in the form of a graph this total cost function is like this total cost with the beta 0 the total fixed cost this part is the total variable cost and total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost so you can estimate a total cost function using regression analysis using regression analysis similarly a quadratic function like this like this where yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus beta 3 xi square can be estimated using regression analysis because it is linear in parameters even though it is a quadratic equation. Similarly, consider our exponential function y is equal to e raised to beta 1 plus beta 2 x or x i. An exponential function will be something like this. Can be estimated by using regression analysis. The point is linearity in econometrics means linearity in parameters not linearity in variables. So most of the economic relationships which we encounter in 
the real world can be estimated by using the tools of econometrics. That is the point. Not only that, some models appears to be non-linear but can be linearized by giving a suitable transformation. Such models are known as intrinsically linear. Such models are known as intrinsically linear. Such models can also be estimated using the tools of econometrics after giving a suitable transformation. As an example, consider the Cobb-Douglas production function Q is equal to a k raised to alpha L raised to beta. If we take a log, log Q is equal to log A plus alpha log K plus beta log A. By giving a log transformation, we can estimate this model. And uh, uh, an advantage of this model is this model will give uh, estimates of elasticities. So different types of functional forms will be discussed in a later class. So remember this, linearity in econometrics always means linearity in parameters. If a model is not linear in parameters, it is known as nonlinear models. To estimate nonlinear models, we have to resort to nonlinear regression and we will not discuss nonlinear models in our analysis. Now, having specified a PRF and also having defined linearity, now we consider the stochastic specification of the PR. We know that corresponding to each level of income, there is an average consumption. But the question is, what about the consumption expenditure of an individual family? We know that when x was equal to 80, the average consumption expected y given x was equal to 65. But for some families, the consumption expenditure was, say y1 was equal to, say, 75. For another family, say y5 was equal to, say, 60. Like this. So the average, even though the average consumption of a family is 65, individual consumption expenditures are different. Now the question is, what is the relationship between the average consumption expenditure of a group of families and the consumption expenditure of an individual family? Now let's as define the difference between the consumption expenditure of an individual family and the average consumption expenditure of the families corresponding to a particular level of income as Yi minus expected Y given Xi. We call this Ui, the stochastic error term, the disturbance term. Ui and uh, Yi is equal to expected Y given Xi plus Ui. And from this equation, Yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 Xi plus Ui. And this is the stochastic specification of the PR. So the stochastic specification of the PR of is Yi is equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 Xi plus Ui. Where beta 1 plus beta 2 Xi is the deterministic part, Ui is the random component, the deterministic component and the random component. And what is Ui here? Now we know that Ui here is the 
deviation of the consumption of an individual family from the average consumption of the families where this particular family belongs. It can be stated differently. We can say that we are not interested in the behavior of each and every individual. Our interest is only some of the characteristics, central tendencies or, uh, of, or some of the average quantities of these families. Instead of considering the consumption expenditure of each and every family, we are interested in the estimation of the average consumption of a group of families belonging to a particular income level. So in econometrics, our concern is not estimation of individual behavior, our concern is estimation of average behavior. And so what is different from the average is treated as, is treated as the stochastic error term or the random disturbance term, stochastic disturbance term or the random error term. Now, in econometrics, as I told you, our concern is estimation of the conditional expectation of phi given xi. That is, estimation of the parameters beta 1 and beta 2. To estimate these parameters, we use in econometrics the tool of regression analysis. So remember this, yi sum of beta 1 plus beta 2 xi plus uy is the stochastic specification of the PRF. So this equation represents the entire graph. Whereas, whereas this particular line is represented by expected y given xi equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 xi. And in econometrics, our concern is estimation of expected y given xi and u is nothing but the deviation of an individual behavior from what is considered as the average. Deviation from average is what is known as the disturbance term, the stochastic error term and this is the stochastic specification of PR. Remember this? Remember this, this is an example of a linear PRF. Linearity is always defined in econometrics as linearity in, linearity in parameters, not linearity in variables. And we are interested in estimation of the conditional mean values of y given x is equal to x1, x2, x3, etc, etc.